nickname is Nikki, but my name ain't Nicole. Name ain't Nicole. If I lose it all, will you still be here? We die for the money, we cry golden tears. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, of course it's another summer look. This one is, in, it's just inspired by the beach. And again, on you usually do this look on Sundays only because I don't want to do too many colors on a Sunday. Too lazy, too tired, just don't feel like it. And I usually am hungover, but I have to look presentable because my friends still like to do things on Sunday. So, this look is very simple here but very bold here only because when you put a pop of color down here you look awake and I like to look awake on Sunday I don't need people to know that um, I'm trash and I didn't get home till like 6 in the morning so yeah let's get started since it's been proven that me speaking is what you guys like I'm gonna be talking in this one I guess nothing's happened in my life though so this is gonna be a very boring get ready me Hmm. let's see how it goes Anyway, I'm going to first start with this color here from the Jeffree Star Thirsty palette, Subtle. I really like this shade, especially because it's close to my skin color, so you know. I'm also going to be using one of my mermaid tail brushes. And then on my unicorn brush, I'm going to take drizzle and just plop that in the crease and a little bit above the crease, if that makes sense. And again, I said this is like a day at the beach, so to make this look more like sand, or how sand looks in the sun, and wet, and blah blah blah, I mix these two, which is Snatched and Plunge on a mermaid brush. And I'm also always super extra sometimes. I don't usually do this on Sundays because I'm too lazy. But for work today, I will take the golden shade Filthy Rich and just put that into the centers of the lid. Because why not? It's on a unicorn brush. I mean, nothing in my life has happened at all. Nothing. Nothing has happened. Nothing's going on. I still have yet to find my cat. I'm convinced that someone has him. And they took the little demon baby. And they're keeping my little demon baby. Which is just rude. Like that. Very simple. Very easy. And I'm kind of obsessed with this gold shade. I'm not gonna lie. It reminds me of his... Is it King Tut? One of his highlighters. That's golden, golden. Is it King Tut? I can't remember exactly. But Jeffree Star has a highlighter that's just really gold and really pretty. Real simple, real easy. Now if you've been here a while, you know how much I'm obsessed and in love with the Witch's Pouch Gel Liner, their Selfie Liner in Black Pearl. 
I absolutely love this liner. I probably need to go buy another one because I think this one is about to die and that's really sad, but I love it. I love it so much. And it goes on really smooth and really easy. Honestly, all of the Korean eyeliners I've tried, they all go on like this. I'm not saying they all last as long as this one, but they all go on real, like you don't have to scrape or pr push too hard. They're all really soft and you don't have to heat it up or anything to activate them. But I love it. And it's not that expensive for a gel liner. So I've done my foundation off camera because just because um, I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 35 Deep. I need to get some more of this stuff. It's almost gone. It's literally like right here. I can see it. Minus the crap on the sides. So I've been watching. Well, I started watching Steven Universe again. Don't judge me. I know I'm an adult. But cartoons are life. Cartoons are always life. And I forgot how crazy Connie's parents were, if you watch it. If you don't watch it, ignore this part of the conversation. But I feel like you should watch it. I mean, I know it's a cartoon, and you think it's like just for kids, but it's actually a really good cartoon. And it's actually kind of sad, though, because his mom is gone, and his poor dad just, I don't know, his dad is trying. And Amethyst did not. I like Garnet, though. Garnet's cool. Pearl's annoying. I don't know why I do this Bozo's a Clown thing on my nose every time I do my makeup, but you know? If you know who Bozo's a Clown is, you're cool. If you don't, um. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it. It's a TV show that used to come on in Chicago. It was on for a long time. Like, my sisters watched it when they were younger. I'm pretty sure my mom watched it when she was younger or when she was like mid 20s. I don't know. But then I watched it when I was younger. It's a really scary clown, but the show was fun. I don't like clowns. I hate clowns. I feel like I said this before. I hate clowns, so I don't know why I do this. I'm gonna go blend this. Now, if you've been here a while, you know which contour palette I use. If you haven't been here and you're just getting here, welcome. I use the e.l.f cream contour palette and I actually love this palette as you can see oh my god I've hit pan on two I don't really use the cream color the I mean the uh, concealer shade on myself my friend uses that one when we get ready when we do our makeup together she uses that I don't use it because it's too light for me the contour colors work but that um conceal the concealing shade is way too light for me I mean, I could use it on my lids when I want to brighten my shadow, but what's the point? I like this because it blends out very nicely. And you can only tell I'm wearing it if I put the Jeffree Star Skin Frost right on top of it and blend it out that way. Oh, someone dropped something in the hallway. I can literally hear everything in this building. Everything. And I do mean everything. So if you're thinking what you're thinking right now, as I talk, that too. You hear everything. Well, when the, there's like sliding doors. When the sliding door to my kitchen is open, I hear everything. Oh, I put powder here. That's why it looks so white. But I didn't put a lot of powder there because there's no concealer there. Oh, foundation. Here's the fun part. Doing my chin. I mix all three of the contour shades together. Don't judge me. But my chin is cray cray. And I try to hide the cray cray. If you can hear my washer. I apologize if you can hear Adventure Time. That's what I watch in the mornings. Don't touch me. I'd rather watch cartoons these days because I don't want to deal with reality at the moment. Not my reality, just the world's reality.
oot, 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 oot. Anything else happened in my life? No. I went out Saturday, met the rudest guy. Like he was just the biggest asshole I've ever met in my life. I don't know why foreign men come to Korea and just think they can talk to women any kind of way and I'm going to say, oh my God, you're so hot. No, that's not gonna happen, sir. I'll hurt your feelings or ignore you. And I was ignoring him and then he got upset and asked my friend, why was I being such a bitch? And I'm like, and she's like, you're being rude. And she doesn't talk to rude people. He's like, I'm not being rude, it's just a joke. But who sits and makes jokes about black women in front of a black woman? No, he wasn't black, he was Russian, I believe. But like, who sits and makes those kinds of jokes? And like, I don't have time for it, dude. Like, I don't. Like, you're not being cool, you're not being funny. You're being really annoying and really disrespectful. And if I was to punch you, I wouldn't be wrong. I don't condone violence, but he should have got punched in the face just to shut him up. Even his friends were like, dude, leave her alone. Dude, shut up. He wouldn't listen. Now we know what step is next. Again, I love, especially like in the summertime, I've had this since 2000. When it first came out, I've had Dark Horse Highlighter since it first came out, but I didn't start using it until last year. So last summer, yeah, so this is process, progress from a year. Last summer is when I started using it, and I just like to take it and, again, put it on top of where I put the contour. Why? I don't know. Literally everywhere I put the contour. Do not ask me why because I have no idea. I just like the way it looks on me. Some people might think I'm crazy and go, you don't need that much highlighter, but I feel like I do. I feel like my personality requires this much highlight in my life. Oh, this brush is I don't know. I don't know. No idea. Like there's a name that used to be there, but it's gone. I can just see makeup brush. And then I take Uranus right under my eyeballs. I like that bright look. That I'm awake. I didn't go to bed at two and wake up at three. No, I'm kidding, I didn't do that. I went to bed at like one and got up at seven. If you can hear my washing machine, I apologize. It's kinda loud. And it's also literally right in that room, so. Then the other side. Every time I've seen the other side lately, Hannah Montana pops in my head, and I don't know what to do about it. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. My niece Najee used to be obsessed with her, so everything. She had a Hannah Montana birthday party twice. So yeah. And in the middle of my forehead, because why not? Um, so, I'm gonna go back into the filthy rich shade. That's going to be my eyebrow bone highlight, my brow bone highlight. Why? Because it's necessary for this look. Again, this look is called a day at the beach. So, you know. Must give the appearance of the beach. This is the Morphe B14 brush, by the way. And I normally don't use this to highlight my brow bone, but it has been doing wonders these last. I've been using it for like a week, almost a week. 
about five days. I've been using this to highlight my brow bone and it just, I don't know, it makes me happy. Now for the main and real reason, this is called Day at the Beach. I'm going to take Submerge and Splash, mix them together and put them on the lower lash line. As in, you know, the water hitting the way, hitting the edge of the beach, the shore, sorry, edge. I'm not, I'm from the Midwest, I'm not a beach person, but I know, shore, do. Mix the two of them together. See? It's so pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> and I know some people are like, it, would be, it should be darker. But my inspiration when I first did this look was actually the little emoticon from the iPhone. The little, like, it's like a palm tree in the sand. And then there's the water. The water is not dark, it's actually very bright. So, yeah. Nikki was inspired by an e emoji. Don't judge me. I wasn't inspired by an emoji. And I'm not ashamed to admit that. An emoji inspired me. However, I do something to make this pop more on the bottom. Again, because I said I like to look awake. See how awake I look right now? So like I said, I just took the same gold shade in Filthy Rich and just put it in the inner corner. Then I'm going to take my two favorite mascaras. I'm going to be buying this one again today. The Eye Doll Mascara, which is a Korean brand, and the Maybelline Falsies Mascara. And I am going to coat my lashes. So clearly I've taken my hair down and it is still wet, so yay. No, just kidding. Um, I also added lashes, which I don't do on Sundays, but because today is not Sunday and I must go to work and I'm being extra today. Anyway, why not add the lashes? Uh, these lashes were a gift when I bought the clip-in hair extensions. They gave me a gift of lashes, so these are those lashes. And it is synthetic hair, so hallelujah. Um, they came from China, so yeah, there's also that don't know the brand there was no brand they were just in a little black box that said royal lashes for you so but it also said 100% synthetic hair so there's that for my lips I'm going to do simple nude lip this is Jeffree Star Family Jewels because I love this this is from his summer collection from last year and I wore this and um, Thickest Thieves all last summer, 
and we're back to wearing this one again so far all this summer Yeah, I'm sorry, if it suddenly got darker, I suddenly look like my normal self instead of super bright. I turned off the ring light because it looked cray cray. This is no ring light and just that light that's up there. And now you can really see what it looks like. This is what it looks like in natural lighting. Well, not natural lighting. It's natural lighting would be if, me, if I open the window and turn this light off. But um, with just my ceiling light on, this is what it looks like and I'm going to be taking Fenty Beauty they cry lip luminizer just in the center like I always do because I don't know I just like the way it looks and this is what I do of course trophy li trophy wife needs to go on my cupid spell doesn't it and this is the finished look, minus the lashes. This is how I go out on Sundays when I have to go out and be social after dying for a couple hours. Yeah, I actually like it today for some reason. I think the lashes make it pop more. I like this look. I don't know why I'm clapping my hands. I should probably stop. And yeah, I'm going to go take pictures. I am going to take pictures of my white sock shirt because why not my shirt i love it it says i may live in south korea but my heart always my heart always belongs to the socks chicago white socks not the red socks i'm not from boston but um yes i and i took a wide tooth comb and a blow dryer and now i look like a poodle so there's that but I do look like I'm ready to go to the beach too though. <laughs> I'm not getting in the water, I can't swim, so <laughs> I just sit on the side and look cute. Anyway, that is it for this video. Um I ordered some clothes. And they were going to be here Friday. If you would like to see what I bought, let me know and I can do a clothing video. I mean I don't have a great fashion sense, sorry. I just usually wear t-shirts and pants because unless I'm going to work and it's a blouse and pants, but nothing special. I don't have a, but I got, I bought my first kimono and I'm excited because kimonos are cute. Yeah, I should probably get my life together and start dressing better to match this face. Um, anyway, that's all for the video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.